we're going to use the docker push command to deploy the local image to Amazon ECR repository. Give it a few minutes for the docker push command to complete, then head to the ECR service. Ensure that you see your hello world repository listed there. Consider this, you want to build and deploy Python Lambda functions with container images in AWS. Can you do this using Cloud9 in Amazon ECR? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Cloud9 service, then click on Create Environment and give it a name. Choose an environment instance type, then hit Create. Open your Cloud9 IDE, then right-click on your parent folder and click on New Folder. Let's call this folder Example, then create a new file inside this folder and call it lambda underscore function dot py. Double click on the py file to open it. And then let's head to this AWS guide so we can copy paste sample Python code. The code starts by importing the sys module. Then inside the handler method, we have a return statement that's saying hello from AWS Lambda followed by the Python version. Let's paste this code in our editor and save the file. Next, let's create requirements.txt file within the example folder so we can list any library dependencies. I'm going to leave in Boto3 even though our sample function doesn't need it. Next, let's look at the contents of our sample Docker file. It starts by setting the from property to the URI of the base image, which is pointing to AWS Python 3.11. We're also using the copy command to copy requirements.txt file and lambda function.py file to lambda task root. Following that, we're installing the packages specified in the requirements.txt file using the run command. The last line of the file is setting the CMD argument to the Lambda function handler. Let's copy paste this code and save the Docker file. Next, we're going to build the Docker image with the Docker build command and give it a test tag. Let's copy paste this Docker build command in our bash terminal. Just make sure you're inside the example folder. If you are not, use the cd or change directory command to go inside it and then re-execute the command. Looks like our docker build command was successful. Next, we're going to work on deploying this image to Amazon ECR. The first step in this process is to use the get login password command to authenticate the docker CLI to your Amazon ECR registry. Let's copy paste the get login password command to our terminal and replace the sample account number with our actual account ID. Looks like our login was successful. Next, we're going to create a repository in ECR using the create repository command. In this example, we're calling our repository hello world. Let's copy paste the whole command in our terminal and execute it. Next, we're going to use the docker tag command to tag the local image in the ECR repository as the latest version. Just make sure to replace the sample account number with the actual account ID. Finally, we're going to use the docker push command to deploy the local image to Amazon ECR repository. Give it a few minutes for the docker push command to complete, then head to the ECR service. Ensure that you see your hello world repository listed there. Next, we're going to head to the Lambda service, then click on create function and select container image. Give your function a name, then select the latest image from the hello world repository. Hit create function, then navigate to the test tab, then click on test to invoke your Lambda function. Expand the details section and confirm that you see hello from Lambda with the Python 3.11 version. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. 
Why did the container image apply for a new job?